it normally plays a, a significant role in the festival because it, it, people feel real good. I mean, you're in the fall, and it's, it's just a great time of year to have a festival. Under blue skies, volunteers put on the finishing touches, moving barricades and setting up the stages, getting ready for Gin Tilly Fest 2015. We started as a fundraiser uh, for our first responders following Hurricane Katrina. Now, eight years later, the free festival continues to serve first responders and is a celebration of all things New Orleans, complete with local food, artists, and musicians. Festival chairperson Gretchen Bradford says the fest also employs people from across the city and gives small businesses an opportunity to showcase what they do best, touting the event as a great way to bring the community together offering a little something for everyone. We have a kids uh, area where we got a stage and they get to perform. We also have a main stage for the adults so them to enjoy. We also have an area where you can get your spiritual fix on and wonderful things like arts and crafts and medical and social um, information. We're including a bicycle second line, you know. Bradford and her crew are expecting this year's festival to be the biggest yet. Thanks in part to what's expected to be a good weather weekend, more community partnerships, and more buzz about it in all corners of the city. It's a great place to have a festival, but the entire city participate. I mean, I, I'm on the West Bank. We coming to the uh, Gentilly Fest. I'm just, it's just a, a, a city-wide event that's really wonderful, and we're featuring really more than just Gentilly. It started out um, focusing on our community, but it's a, a city-wide festival. Reporting in Gentilly, Kelsey Davis, WVSU News.